Oh my, I'm so sorry, my lady. Are you alright? Oh my goodness, are you okay? Uh, -huh. uh, yes, I'm fine, I'm sorry. Uh, thank you. Are you sure you're alright? Uh, yes, I'm sure. That's good. Well, Drella, you wanted to meet Flate, right? Me? I may as well introduce myself then. I am Flate Fane, a personal guard of Lord Charles Balcom of Winsbrook. And the person who found you. Hello, Sir Flate. I remember you. Yes, I am extremely sorry about yesterday's incident. It's a pleasure to formally introduce myself to you, Lady Jella. It's really not a problem, and I'm sorry for running into you. You are quite alright, my lady. Ha! <laughs> Look at you being all formal spoken! Miss Maria, you already know this is how I'm supposed to act as a guard. Besides, I see no difference from how I normally act. Hmm... Yeah... Well, Flay, what brings you over here? I am just bringing over some more supplies for the new infrastructures. Flay, you are a guard, not a servant. Anyways... Flay, I'm sorry to cut this short, but I must really be getting Drella back to the inn. We were just doing a tour of the village. I didn't even tell Ruth I was taking her. Ah, <laughs> uh, she's staying with Ruth? Maybe I'll check in every once in a while then. She's, uh, well, you see. <laughs> well, I'd appreciate that. It was nice to formally meet you, Lady Drella. And I'll see you around, Miss Maria. See you around, Flate! Bye, Sir Flate. <sighs> Ruth is going to give me hell for this. She's even awake, that is. At least you know your way around now. Hopefully you won't get lost. Not like there's much around to get lost in. I really want to thank you, Miss Maria. Thank you for helping me out. A complete stranger. <laughs> Honestly, you really don't need to thank me. Just repay the favor if you were to find someone else in a similar situation. Help them out, as I did to you. Yes, of course, Miss Maria! No doubt about it! Oh, it looks like we're already here. <sighs> okay, let's get this done and over with. Alright. Well, where the hell were you? I mean, I don't care, but I could have used you in the kitchen to make breakfast for the guests. That's completely my fault, Ruth. I took her out of the village for a tour. And you didn't even bother to tell me? <laughs> well, she's here now, but I'd best be going. Drella, you know where to find me if you need me. You better treat her well, or I'll be having a few choice words with you. Yeah, okay, whatever. Bye, Miss Maria. I'll see you later. Oh, <laughs> you don't need to add the miss part for me, sweetie. Hey, I'm not done with you. <sighs> whatever. Huh? What? I'm awake, I'm awake. William, this child right here is Drella. She's going to be working for us until she pays off her debt. Debt, you say? Ruth, why the hell didn't you tell me about this sooner? Oh, shut up. Drella, do you know how to cook? I don't think so. <sighs> William, watch the front. I will definitely watch. Uh... Come on, girl. Uh, okay. Everything 
meow 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 Already, that cooking is not something I'm good at. That was a nightmare. <sighs> well, uh, I don't want to just lay around and waste away. I should get up and do something. Okay, I'm getting up. <sighs> uh, yeah. And my legs are still pretty restless from all that running around earlier. That was so scary. All right, one more. <laughs> oh, I can still smell the smoke. Open. Close. getting pretty late. I should probably go downstairs really fast without making too much noise. Uh, maybe I can forage like yesterday. Actually, I didn't get anything yesterday. Should I keep going the way I went yesterday? But what do I do? <gasps> I got it! Uh, but to do this, I need to gather some supplies. Is it flax? Plant fiber? Yes? Okay, I made up my mind. Let's do this. Maybe I can show my thanks to everyone by helping around the village. Oh, finally, some flax. But is there only one? I don't see any more. <sighs> this is what I need. But why won't it come off? Ow! Okay, that hurt. That hurt a lot, but at least I got it off. <laughs> twist and fold, twist and fold, twist and fold. <sighs> there. That didn't take too long, but now there's a perfectly fine rope for the well. Hmm. But... I wonder if I have enough time to do anything else tonight. Could I find some flowers to pick for Maria? Although, not the ones that lead to Cody's house. I feel, for some reason, like I shouldn't touch those ones. But I haven't seen many flowers around. Where do I go to find them? And how far do I have to go? Wow, these are really pretty, and they seem like they would suit Maria well. Okay, then I should start picking. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's, that's enough. I definitely don't want to take them all. Although, I wonder if they're edible. I'm not getting much food from Ruth, so it might be best if I start collecting stuff. Like food and other supplies for later. Then maybe I can- <gasps> Huh? Is someone there? Oh gosh, please don't be the anger guard! I mean, Phil, 
well, maybe I shouldn't call him that, but he just doesn't seem to like me that much. Or maybe he's just like that to everyone? I don't know yet. Oh, right. Someone's nearby. Maybe I should take a look. Who's that? I can't really see their face from here. I wonder if I could take a closer look. Who are you? And what do you think you're doing sneaking up on me like that? Uh, I, I am so sorry. I was just... I... Uh, uh, I can't think while you're holding a sword to my face. I'm sorry. I was just curious. Wait, are you hurt? Do you need help? What? No? I'm good? Huh? You were just... Holding a sword to my face. Well, that's because you snuck up on me. I didn't mean to. I was just out picking, gathering some supplies when I heard something. So I went to go see what it was. That's very dumb of you. You know you could have easily gotten yourself killed out here. I could have been a thug for all you've known. One swipe and you're gone. And you not reacting really says something. Why are you even out here? The only place nearby is Baylor Stall or Winsbrook. Are you coming from one of them? Yes. You really shouldn't be out here all by yourself. Go back from where you came from unless you have a death wish. I think I can handle myself just fine. Says the one who let me keep a sword to your face. Gosh, how dumb can you be? Very. What? Just go back from where you came from, idiot. Well, that's not very nice. And it wouldn't be very nice to see you dead from your own stupidity. Now go back. All right, all right. <sighs> that wasn't nice at all. I can still hear you. That's the point. <sighs> okay. Even though he was very rude, he's probably right. I should get back. <sighs> I don't want to go to sleep. But I have to get up at sunrise, so it might be best. <sighs> okay. Back to the inn it is, then. But how far did I stroll away from the village? Oh, crap. Am I lost? I don't know which way I came from. But I couldn't have traveled too far, right? Come on, Drella. Think. Come on. Think. <gasps> Did I go the wrong way when I fell? Come on. Ugh, I can't remember. I was so panicked when I saw the person holding a sword to my face. Like, who even does that? Who shoves a sword into some random person's face? Well... Actually, that makes sense if they thought I was a bandit. But do I look like a bandit? Maybe it is pretty dark. What if I am a bandit? Wait, no, I'm not. Drella, stop panicking. Uh, okay, back to the problem at hand. I need to get back to the inn. <sighs> Maybe I should get to some higher ground. Hopefully then I'll be able to see something from the village. Oh, that is scary. Okay, then I should probably get up here. Um... Just a little bit more. A little higher. And... Okay, hopefully this is high enough. Um, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, oh! Is that the village? It is, but... I didn't realize that the village had such big trees around it. Maybe I can ask Maria about the tomorrow. If I have time, that is. <sighs> 